it's out. I repeat, the bunk bed update is out. I just finished installing it. The patch notes aren't even out yet, so we're gonna have to explore this together. This is a very big moment for us. If you missed yesterday, there's a few new things included that aren't just the bunk beds. One, they mentioned a big trait update, which they didn't give any further context for, so we'll see what that means in a second. Also, at least one of the base game hairs is finally updated. Console, your skin tones should finally be fixed. And a few of the posters have some new swatches, but there could be more that we don't know about yet. The patch is two gigabytes, so it's massive. I'm starting. I'm going to look at bunk beds. It's happening. I'm doing it right now. I've been waiting for this moment for years. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Auto bunk beds on? What does that mean? Okay. So we'll figure that out in a second, but we also have a few new options. We've got this base game bed in bunk version. Oh, and they have this bed as well in the base game in a bunk version. Oh my God. This is the parenthood bed, but they lofted it and then put it in the base game. You can change the swatches separately, which is huge. They also of course have the loft version. Then we have this base game bed. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. They've got basically all the base game single beds that you can change the swatches from. Oh, this is a beautiful day. But what does auto bunk beds mean? Automatic bunk bed placement is on. I don't understand. <laughs> what, what does automatic bunk bed placement mean? Oh my god, I can't believe this day is finally here. Hang on, I'm going to get a sim. While we're here, they did, they finally fixed this hair. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Flashback to yesterday. I showed you the before yesterday in the video. This is that hair right now. Um, absolutely tragic terrible texture, embarrassing, and this is that improved version. Obviously, it's a small picture. We can't super tell what it'll look like, but that, to me, looks significantly better, so I'm really glad to see that finally fixed. The before version was an embarrassment. It was really, really bad, so this is huge. This looks so much better. I just wanted some random sims fast so that we could test the bunk beds. I'm sorry. I just- <laughs> this is important to me. Come here. Get in the bed. <gasps> look at her go! Oh, were you always able to read under covers? Is that new as well? Oh, this is so much better. This is so much better. Oh, she's reading a book under the covers. Oh, this reminds me when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm so happy. Basically any single bed will snap into the bottom bunk. Obviously they don't always look great because some of the frames are a bit weird, but you could totally make some of them work. Oh, and it holds them together. Oh, interesting. But yeah, some of them look a bit weird as the bottom bunk, <laughs> but any single bed will snap there. I'm still not sure what auto bunk beds means. This is like the happiest day of my life. I'm not kidding. I can't believe we finally have bunk beds. So my theories are correct. You can snap any bed into the bunk, the bottom bunk at least that we thought. And they also added two new ones. I'm looking quickly if there's anything new around here, although I don't think there is. I'm guessing they've just adjusted like the tuning of the current traits. Yeah, there's no new ones there and I'm not sure there's any new traits in Cass. Yeah, same number of traits. I wonder what the difference is. All they said was trait improvements, so like that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I was trying not to get my hopes up too high, but I guess we just wait and see. Let's see about putting deaths under here. <gasps> oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the desks don't automatically slot underneath, only the beds do. Beds will automatically slot, it looks like. See? But desks don't. I wonder if your sims can still use them? Like, if I move objects, place this? Uh, let's find out. Oh no. He won't- well, he can sit there. Oh, that's weird. Okay, when I was clicking on it, it wouldn't work, but I had him sit in the chair and he can use it. Yeah, the desk doesn't snap. I wonder what else snaps. Does anything smaller- no? Any toys? No? Well, then what's the point of having the bed lofted. <laughs> Genuinely, what? Okay, this is not. So if I stick a dollhouse there, and maybe if I stick like a bear underneath this one, let's see if the kid can actually use them. Okay, she will use the toys underneath it. It just doesn't place automatically for some reason, but it is functional. That's good. Same with the desk, it looks like. Can you still sleep in it? <gasps> ah! Oh no. Okay, so she can use this one with the thing underneath, but she can't use this with the dollhouse underneath? What if there's a desk underneath? Oh, it's not- it won't- she won't route to it. Oh, that is upsetting. <laughs> that is not good. What if the bed was like this? If I like L-shape it. Can you use it now? Okay. Interesting. She can't use it when there's a nightstand. How weird. I wonder if we like scoot it closer, if it would work? It seems like you just gotta get it further away from the ladder. Oh! Oh! Automatic bunk beds hides the ladder that's on the side of the wall. Do you see that? Like when the ladder is there, then it goes away. If I turn it off, ladder stays. Oh, that makes- okay, that makes sense. 
<laughs> that makes sense. I wonder if they'll change it at some point so that the Sims can climb up. Cause I like, I wanna have a lofted bed. <laughs> this makes me feel sad. I'm really confused about why you can't put things underneath the bunk bed. Like she'll sit there, but then she won't use the bed. Like, isn't that the whole point of having a lofted bed? Even if the stuff is like scooted over, it doesn't work. Oh, interesting. Okay, this tile is fine. It's this tile that you can't get into. Cause remember we had that stuffed animal there too and it worked as well. So if I stick like this, yeah. Okay, so anything on that tile will work just fine. You just can't have them on both tiles. Upgrade. Massage controls and mattress firmness? Okay. <laughs> oh, we've got some new poster swatches. That's huge. They haven't done this in so long. Yeah, more diversity in it. Thank God. Okay, that's huge. I honestly, I don't use a lot of the posters very often, but I think all of these are new. I'm pretty sure that these posters only had one swatch before. Look how many swatches this thing has now. Oh my God, what an improvement. Oh my God, what an improvement. And they're actually diverse too. Yeah, they added five more different pictures of people on this. It used to be just Jerry. Now we have have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, this painting's got some new swatches too. <gasps> Look! Oh, what an improvement! I'm so, I'm so, so glad they did this. I wasn't expecting them to do this, especially not today. That's a very pleasant surprise. This one too has new swatches. Oh, that's beautiful too. It seems like pretty much every base game picture that had a person has been updated to have more swatches. Even the scary rocket ship one has more. Yeah, look at that. Patch notes, patch notes. Okay, they actually updated two hairs. We had this one we noticed before, but they also updated this one. These look so much much better than before. We noticed all these poster updates. You can see all the additional swatches they added. I'm so, so glad they finally did this. Okay, also on the gameplay side, we have made some targeted improvements to a selection of base game personality traits to make them more meaningful in gameplay. The idea is to provide these traits a noticeable improvement so simmers can identify the specific traits with more obvious visual cues and apparent unique behavior. So they improved bookworm, cheerful, clumsy, genius, gloomy, glutton, good, goofball, hates children, hot-headed, jealous, mean, neat, non-committal perfectionist. Oh my gosh. I think that'll be hard to check just right now, but I'm glad they did that. They made some updates, hopefully big updates, to make those traits seem more meaningful in gameplay. Wait, a new relax posture. Did I miss that? Wait, we can finally relax in bed? No, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. We've had this game for like years and we've never been able to relax in bed. I think I just didn't realize because we used to have that in older Sims games and I just didn't even notice. Back in The Sims 3, you had to have both your Sims relaxing in bed and then you can have them woohoo. Just in case you're curious. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, because you can relax in bed, you can watch TV in bed. The fact that you couldn't do that this whole time, this is- this is huge. This is huge. Yeah, and then that auto bunk beds is the thing with the ladder against the wall. Okay. For this first iteration of bunk beds, placement of other objects beyond single beds will not be supported. But for those of you who want to experiment, we're excited to see what kind of creative things you come up with. Okay with move objects, blah, blah, blah. I think what, what I'm getting from that is they needed more time to make it work and they're probably gonna update it in the future. Finally, our Sims will stop making puddles every time they get a glass of water. Sims can resume knitting after being interrupted while knitting. I was having a lot of issues with this in my last Let's Play, so that's good. We retrained our adorable yet filthy dust bunnies to not appear quite so often, thank you. And the dust won't accumulate as fast as it used to. Bunch more updates as well as far as bug fixes, that's the- that's the big stuff. Honestly, this is a big update. I wasn't expecting this. I am a little bit sad about the bunk bed situation, like not working with lofted beds, but hopefully that'll get fixed eventually. But for now, at least we have our bunk beds and they are beautiful. I mean, as we all know, this day has been so long awaited and it is finally here. I think I'm gonna try and build some micro home situations with these bunk beds. Makes it significantly more difficult that things don't work underneath the bunk bed, but I wonder if like, you know how this side works? <laughs> I wonder if you can shower under it. Oh my god, she will. <laughs> See, I'm curious what kind of micro homes we can come up with. All right, I'm gonna work on this. I will leave you all to go and explore. The patch notes are linked down below. Happy bunk bed day. Bye everybody. I am really, really pleasantly surprised with those new swatches on the paintings and posters. It is about time they add some more representation into those.